Thank you, Kirlock uh, uh, and Leader. Uh, today, I would like to call upon the government to provide greater resources to the Gardaí to stop the illegal catalytic converters and scrap metal trade. Uh, technology uh, advances along with the uptake of crime in this area means that our current approach is no longer fit for purpose. Catalytic converters are valuable because of the precious metals they're made of, such as rhodium, platinum and palladium. Uh, have increased in value in recent years. During certain periods, some of these metals can have a higher value than gold. Apart from the risk of funding criminals, the illegal dismantling of vehicles, in particular end-of-life vehicles, can cause serious environmental damage. In February early this year, an investigation by Fingal County Council resulted in four individuals pleading guilty to the illegal transportation of catalytic converters. The council said they hoped the guilty party's sentence would serve, serve a strong deterrent. In County Council's waste enforcement sections are looking to improve traceability within the waste metal sector and are looking to strengthen compliance in metal recycling facilities. However, they need more assistance. In Kinkelly, there have been a few reports of catalytic converter thefts from cars within November alone. I know it's something within my own county that is uh, very prevalent as well. A guard the source told the Irish Times that the theft of catalytic converters from cars has gone mad. Many makes of cars are targeted, but some, including early models of Total Prius, um, Toyota Yaris, as well as Mercedes Sprinter vans, are more favoured for the higher quality metals. Most of these thefts take place around the commuter Dublin areas. Several years ago, the United Kingdom put in place strict regulations on the scrap metal trade. In England and Wales, it's illegal to, for anyone to buy scrap metal using cash. Instead, dealers can pay using a cross-check, a prepaid card system or an electronic transfer of funds. Scrap metal dealers must also verify the identity of all sellers. Could Ireland look at what is being done in other EU countries so we can clamp down on illegal trade? In recent years, more transactions have been made in crypto. The Garda Cybercrime Bureau is also already st struggling to deal with its caseloads. The way the cryptocurrencies are stored and used have caused greater difficulties for them. So I conclude my ask today. Is the government prepared to increase funding to the Garda Cybercrime Bureau that uh, the Special Criminal Task Force and other uh, branches of the Gardaí to deal with this issue? Will the government help waste management sections in city and county councils to improve their waste traceability standards? And is the government prepared to collaborate with politicians in Northern Ireland to deal, uh, devise an all-Ireland approach to this? I know there's a lot of illegal uh, sales of catalytic converters that um, takes place between the north and south, particularly in the border counties of Meath, Cavan and Louth. So that's a serious issue that needs to be looked at. Uh. Senator Keoghan raised an issue this morning that I'm not overly familiar with, if I'm being honest. It's around the um, increase, as she uh, says, of uh, theft of catalytic converters and scrap metal trade, particularly along the border region. Um, but I take on board the Senator's comments, and she has specifically requested, uh, I think, made some interesting comments around waste traceability, something which appears to be done maybe at a great, to a greater extent in the UK. Uh, and the uh, removing the ability to purchase scrap metal using cash uh, to improve traceability. So I think uh, worthwhile, uh, to, worthwhile exploring those, those options. 